Scaling blocks. When we go to insert a block, I'm going to insert this block that's just a one unit by one unit square. And I'm going to uh, specify my scale on the screen, my rotation, my insert point. So I'm going to place the drawing. And I can scale it you know, uniform, meaning x equals y. So I, I'll do that. I just hit enter. So scale of 1 and a scale of 1 and a rotation of 0. And I have a block uh, that's a square shaped. Now if I go to insert this square again and I put my insertion point here and I say my scale factor in the x is 4 and then I say my scale factor in the y is 2 then my rotation angle is 0. You can see how that now is not my normal square. Um, also I can use negatives uh, as well. So when I go to insert I can say well, I'm going to specify it on the screen and I'm going to uh, pan just a little bit here. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to pick an insertion point and I'm going to say I want to go to a negative 4 and a 2 in the in the y direction and now you can see it's going uh, if I do my uh, rotation angle is 0 it's going to the left in the negative 4 direction so I can scale things uniformly or I can scale them in separate x, y scale factors. Now, when we're putting in blocks, we have three types of blocks. We have what's called a real block. A real block is when we draw things to the real size things are, full scale, full shape. So if we're drawing a Lamborghini, we draw a Lamborghini, it's full size, you know, 18 feet long by 9 feet wide type thing. And we insert it generally with a, a, a scale factor of 1 in both the X and the Y. So that's our most common block. We also have a schematic block that was originally drawn at a 1 to 1 scale and then when we put it in we can blow it up to a larger scale uh, such as a 48 scale for a quarter inch equals a foot and so that we can make our blocks being bigger or smaller based on whatever we give it for an X and a Y. And we also have what's called a unit block and a unit block is designed to fit in a one unit by one unit square or if it's in 3D, it would be a one unit by one unit by one unit. In other words, it would be in 3D. So a one unit block is such as a one by one inch, one inch by one inch block. And if we wanted to make it a six inch by six inch block, we'd use a scale factor of six on the X and a six on a scale on the Y. And if we were, uh, you know, trying to make like an I-beam we would say okay uh, we would draw it like one by one and then if we wanted to have a four inch uh, um, four by twelve I-beam we do four on the X and twelve on the Y and we get a four inch by twelve inch high I-beam so we can scale our blocks according to um, either uniformly or on a one-to-one one -one basis. We have three different types of blocks, a real block, a schematic block, and a unit block. The unit blocks are broken down into a 1D unit block or a 2D unit block, or we have a 3D unit block for those 3Ds when we get to AutoCAD 3.